But in the last 63 years, we have seen that there have been innumerable rounds of talks between India and Pakistan, but we have not been able to achieve our objectives. And in the last 20 years particularly, when the people of German Kashmir, they felt that the means which the international community was asking them to be provided, that the peaceful means, they failed to resolve their problem, they revolted against and the movement converted into a militancy. It was very unfortunate. Although the people of Kashmir, they love to live in peace and harmony, but they have been pushed to the end of their tether. And in spite of giving huge sacrifices in the last 20 years, the end is not even in sight. And here, speaking from the international perspective, I think and I feel that the international community has failed to fulfill its responsibilities bestowed upon them via the Security Council resolutions. And may I just mention here, the two cases which in the recent past have been resolved, the case of East Timor and the case of Kosovo, these <coughs> were not on the agenda of the United Nations Security Council, but the international community fulfilled the objectives by bringing in the Security Council resolutions. We, the people of Kashmir, think and feel that we are being discriminated by the international community. And today, Sir Gerald Kaufman, I would like to request you to remind the international community of its obligations to the people of Kashmir because we feel that the local and the global peace, it all rests upon the resolution of Kashmir issue. And we have been seeing incidents like 7-7 that happened in London. I feel and think that this is a direct result of that unresolved issue of Kashmir. So on this occasion, while I thank the people and government of Pakistan, especially the President and Prime Minister of Pakistan, I would request through Mr. Gerald Kaufman to play their part via the Parliament and through their offices in the international community for taking a role, a proactive role in resolution of Kashmir issues according Kashmir issue according to the aspirations and wishes of the people of human Kashmir. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Mr. Hassan. And uh, now I would call on Mr. Zakir Khiani, Secretary General Muslim Conference, to please come and say a few words. Chairman, Your Excellency, High Commissioner of Pakistan, Deputy High Commissioner, Nazir Shah Sahib, or Mr. Mahzul Mamanane Garami, I would like to say a few words in Urdu, if you don't mind. جناب آج کی اس تحقیق جو کہ ہائی کمیشن کے اندر مرکت بھی بھی ہے میں سمجھتا ہوں کہ یہ اس بات کا تسلسل ہے کہ کشمیری اور پاکستانی بھائیوں کے درمیان کوئی فیصلہ نہیں ہے اور میں سمجھتا ہوں میں مشکور ہوں پاکستانی ہائی کمیشن کا کہ وہ ہر مرتبہ ہمیں اپنے ساتھ ٹائم دے کے ہمیں شکریہ کا موقع فرام کرتے ہیں اس موقع پہ میں نمی بات نہیں کروں گا لیکن دیارے غیر میں رہتے ہوئے میں اپنے جماعت کی طرف سے اور یہاں پہ جتنے جماعتیں ہیں ان کی طرف سے کیونکہ یہ ہمارا سفارت خانہ بھی یہاں پہ موجود ہے یہاں کی عوام ایک بیٹ گونٹ کی طرح ایک نیٹ کی اٹھی کی حصیت رکھتی ہے میں سمجھتا ہوں کہ ہائی کمیشن کو جو دیارے غیر میں بسنے والے پاکستانی اور کشمیری ہیں ان کے ساتھ ایک مضبوط رابطہ رکھنا چاہیے میں انہیں اتفاق بے اتفاق کرتا ہوں بس ہاں تینکیو مسٹر زاکر کھیانی اور ناو آئی ویڈ ریکویسٹ 
Mr. Muhammad, are you uh, so President Pakistan Welfare Association to share with us his views? Please, sir. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The Chairman, Your Excellency, uh, Professor Nazir Ahmad Shah, Dr. Ms. Fasa, Mazar Zarat, Azrat, Salaam Alaikum. Uh, I am sure that uh, the speaker, after speaker, have clearly said that we are so grateful to the people of Pakistan, forces of Pakistan, and the government's successive government of Pakistan, that they have made so many sacrifices just for one issue, which is related to almost 15 million Kashmiri. I haven't got much to say, but all I want to say is that I'm a British Kashmiri. I wish the British government, or the government of United Kingdom, one day set aside a day for the peaceful resolution for the Kashmiri people. I'm looking forward to ask the Kashmiri brethren who have settled in this country that this is our country, this is our children country, we are building this country, but when our ancestors and our uh, suffering in Kashmir, we cannot stay silent. So we, we strongly ask the government of the United Kingdom to support the issue of Kashmir. That's all I want to say. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Muhammad Ayub. And uh, now I would request Chaudhary Muhammad Khan ex-member of parliament Azad Kashmir Assembly for overseas Kashmiris to come and say a few words. Mr. President, Your Excellency, High Commissioner Shams Wajidur Hassan Saab, Professor Nazir Shah Saab, and colleagues, friends, Assalamu alaikum. First of all, I'd like to thank the Pakistan High Commission and staff for organizing this solidarity meeting <coughs> today. We have been invited uh, to show solidarity with the Kashmiri brothers in occupied Kashmir and Azad Kashmir. And also, I'd like to thank the Prime Minister of Iraq, Pakistan, and President, which they have reaffirmed the support uh, as they have been supporting the Kashmiri cause for the last 62 years and beyond. And the security forces of Pakistan have always supported the cause of Kashmir, no doubt they will continue to support. <laughs> Mr. Mr. President, what I'd like to say is that uh, the Kashmir issue has been on the United Nations agenda, Security Council agenda for the last more than 62 years. And when the British government left there, uh, really this issue should have been resolved. But uh, Kashmiri people are struggling since then for the last 62 years. I know there has been this one issue between India and Pakistan where the West uh, in the recent months said that there is no issue, real issue other than the terrorism in that continent between India and Pakistan. But I think there's a big issue uh, between India and Pakistan, which is the core issue, is the Kashmir issue. If that issue was resolved with the help of the world community and with the help of the British government, with the help of the uh, American government and others, uh, there will be billions of people who benefit by resolving this issue. They will be prosperous and I think they will, be, they will see the difference in the terrorism as well. So therefore, uh, I would like to request Sir Gerald Kaufman to support us as usual for Kashmir issue and request the Majesty Government and particularly the Gordon, our Prime Minister Gordon Brown and he is, he is the one who said in our uh, time to time that because there is no uh, danger other than the terrorism in Pakistan but we take a different view. So therefore, I think British government and others should use their influence to exert pressure on India to come to the table for negotiation 
Kismi people are very peaceful people. They like to issue, issue to resolve this issue by negotiation. No doubt there has been resumption of dialogue. And, but what we don't see that uh, the Indian side statement is that they only want to talk about the terrorism or terrorism. But I think they, they've got to talk about the main core issue, which is the Kashmir issue. And uh, I think that will help a lot. I understand that there is a, I think uh, the time is running out because of maybe a few other speakers. And so therefore, I thank all of you and the Pakistani Commissioner and the staff for organizing this meeting. Thank you.